The Databricks Certified Data Engineer Professional Exam is designed to test your knowledge and skills in data engineering on the Databricks platform. The exam consists of a series of multiple choice and scenario based questions that cover a range of topics related to data engineering, including data pipelines, ETL processes, and data warehousing. Share some Databricks Certified Data Engineer Professional Exam questions here. 1. You have configured Autoloader to process incoming IoT data from cloud object storage every 15 minutes. Recently a change was made to the notebook code to update the processing logic but the team later realized that the notebook was failing for the last 24 hours. What steps team needs to take to reprocess the data that was not loaded after the notebook was corrected? A. Move the files that were not processed to another location and manually copy the files into the ingestion path to reprocess them. B. Enable back underscore fill equals true to reprocess the data. C. Delete the checkpoint folder and run the autoloader again. D. Autoloader automatically reprocesses data that was not loaded. E. Manually reload the data. 2. Which of the following is true when building a Databricks SQL dashboard? A. A dashboard can only use results from one query. B. Only one visualization can be developed with one query result. C. A dashboard can only connect to one schema database. D. More than one visualization can be developed using a single query result. E. A dashboard can only have one refresh schedule. 3. What is the main difference between the bronze layer and silver layer in a medallion architecture? A. Duplicates are removed in bronze. Schema is applied in silver. B. Silver may contain aggregated data. C. Bronze is raw copy of ingested data. Silver contains data with production schema and optimized for ELT, ETL throughput. D. Bad data is filtered in bronze. Silver is a copy of bronze data. 4. You noticed that a team member started using an all-purpose cluster to develop a notebook and used the same all-purpose cluster to set up a job that can run every 30 minutes so they can update undurlying tables which are used in a dashboard. What would you recommend for reducing the overall cost of this approach? A. Reduce the size of the cluster. B. Reduce the number of nodes and enable auto-scale. C. Enable auto termination after 30 minutes. D. Change the cluster all purpose to job cluster when scheduling the job. E. Change the cluster mode from all purpose to single mode. 5. Which of the following locations hosts the driver and worker nodes of a Databricks managed cluster? A. Data plane. B. Control plane. C. Databricks file system. DJDBC data source. E. Databricks web application. 6. Which of the following data workloads will utilize a bronze table as its destination? A. A job that aggregates cleaned data to create standard summary statistics. B. A job that queries aggregated data to publish key insights into a dashboard. C. A job that ingests raw data from a streaming source into the lake house. D. A job that develops a feature set for a machine learning application. E. A job that enriches data by parsing its timestamps into a human readable format. 7. A Delta Live Table Pipelines can be scheduled to run in two different modes. What are these two different modes? A. Triggered. Incremental. B. Once. Continuous. C. Triggered. Continuous. D. Once. Incremental. E. Continuous. Incremental. 8. 
Which of the following developer operations in C, CD flow can be implemented in Databricks Repos? A merge when code is committed B pull request and review process C trigger Databricks Repos API to pull the latest version of code into production folder D resolve merge conflicts E delete a branch 9. Which of the following statements are correct on how Delta Lake implements a lake house? A. Delta Lake uses a proprietary format to write data. Optimized for cloud storage. B. Using Apache Hadoop on cloud object storage. C. Delta Lake always stores metadata in memory versus storage. D. Delta Lake uses open source. Open format. Optimized cloud storage and scalable metadata. E. Delta Lake stores data and metadata in computes memory. 10. What are the different ways you can schedule a job in Databricks workspace? A. Continuous, incremental. B. On demand runs. File notification from cloud object storage. C. Cron. On demand runs. D. Cron. File notification from cloud object storage. E. Once. Continuous.